Hey, Mom, how do you think one day it takes? I don't know. Uh -huh. Why, what the hell? What's wrong with you? You can die. Mom, they following me, Mom. Who? They following me. Who? Who's following These, you? The bugs. The bugs? Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Stop the Madness. I'm your host, The Kid Plot, my co-host, Isaac Cotto. And today we have a special guest in the building, my boy, my brother, influencer, artist, father. I mean, this man does it all. My boy, Mighty Duck. What's up, baby? What's happening? What's happening? How you doing, man? I'm great, welcome, welcome. Good to see you, bro. Welcome. Great, man. Thank y'all for having me. So, so today we're gonna have, we got a special show, obviously. And we got a couple of questions we're going to ask my boy, Mighty Duck. And then we're going to get into some reaction videos as well. So the first question is, what made you decide to create content for social media? Man, I've been creating content before y'all, before Mighty Duck even existed, bro. Like, I was creating content on Facebook in high school. I wasn't popular in high school, but. Hold on, what year was this? Bro, this was two, 2000 and 2009. I was with my boy. Damn, uh, bro, that's, that's almost yeah, 15 years ago. I was making ago. videos and my videos were getting like two views. But <laughs> I was making them like I'm getting thousands of views. You know what I mean? Right. So fast forward, I, I graduated. Then I started working at H-Mart. So I started, you know. Uh, what you was doing at H-Mart? Like, um, a, like a, a bag? You was bagging? H no, I, was, a, I never bagged. You was bro. bagging like, groceries? I never bagged. I really, <laughs> I really, I did the seafood. So I, I cleaned people fish. I was, oh, I was in the meat department. Oh damn! Packing, packing, you know, all kind of, all kind of stuff. Yeah, um, I never knew that. Yeah, so I was just in there and I just started recording. And how long was you working in there for? Bro, I was in there for like two and a half years. So hold on, was that was that? Because I remember seeing a video of you spraying supposedly spraying uh cleaning spray in your mouth windex, and one windex windex right so but it was gatorade it was gatorade because yeah. i remember before the video you said this is really gatorade but your, <laughs> but your co-worker or your boss or whoever it was yeah, yeah, yeah. thought you was really poisoning yourself yeah. was that at h mart that was at h mart so that was so you was already doing videos while you was employed at h mart yeah that's when i kind of blew up but i really blew up from this one video uh i really don't know i, I, don't I know which one what i know video. it was it was my mom or my friend it was your was. mom Okay. It's the bugs. No, it was the was, bugs. It was not the bugs. Wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. I blew up before then. How, how how long have y'all known each other? Cause my man is going down your your roster like this video. That bro, video, I'm a like, fan of Mighty like, Duck. That's my how, man. How long have you known him? Like, was, like probably I would say about five, six years now. Yeah, six years. Yeah, I said. Okay, mm -hmm. you asked, damn. I thought you knew him from day one. Nah, right. but 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 from that point on, um, I would say around 2016, 2017. From that point on, because that was around the time we did the song. Man, it might have been longer. Yeah. Because we did the song in, I think we did the song together. 17? 17. Yeah. And we already knew each other, like, at I least for a that. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we knew each other before. So, 2016, we, uh, I think is when we kind of started talking or whatever. And then we did our song. That we got a song called Lit Together. And After then, that song, we just stayed in touch? Yeah, we just stayed in touch. Okay. And, and then I kept, I kept checking this stuff out, like, looking at And then he would repost. True. Some of his, you know, classics, if you want to call it. Gotcha. Some of his classics, they really got big hits. And that's why I saw a lot of his videos. And to me, that's my favorite. That was the most hilarious one. <laughs> we'll show it. Like, we'll okay. show it at another at another <laughs> another point in time. All right. So um, so the next question is, what do you think is the difference between Vine, TikTok, Instagram, um, social media as a whole um, from when you first started? Um, all right. Vine. You, you familiar with Vine? No, not really. I ain't you don't know what Vine is? I, I, I heard of it, but I'm a YouTuber and Instagram. So like, I really, I, I okay. Mean, tell me so, about it. All right, Vine, it was, we only had six seconds to make folks laugh. <laughs> only six, six seconds? Six seconds? Six seconds to make folks laugh, man. And uh, I feel like Vine was just like pure comedy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Everybody on that app was like, was like super original. You know what I mean? Um, everybody was... You, you couldn't copy off somebody because everybody had original content. But mm. TikTok, everybody copying off each other. These days, anybody can be a content creator. But back then, you only had six seconds. I feel like it was way harder than any other app. So, 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 okay, so Vine was more be original and create your own content. And then TikTok is what I thought was the closest to it. But that one yeah. is more copycat. You got original and then your people just do a bunch yeah, of videos. Well, I'm going to put this out there. Like Vine is the Vine creator's 
really paved the way for everybody on okay. TikTok. Like that's me, and I believe that. I got you. If you would list the platforms, like as far as importance in your eyes, like what would be the? the how would you list down the platforms right now, as of um, today? As far as like, um, as far as like, what could have the biggest reach? Like, if you want to get out there and be a for sure, for sure. But before uh, Vine died, we're just gonna put Vine behind us, rest in peace. <laughs> um, TikTok definitely, man. You can if you want to start anything, go on TikTok. It's like the best. You can you can reach not just you know our nation, but you can reach. Globally, yeah, globally, you know what I mean. So I would say TikTok is definitely up there. That's what's up. And who would be like two and three? Uh, I put TikTok number one. I put, I put, mm, I put Instagram as number two because everybody knows it. We want to go see yeah. what people are doing. And um, number three, I probably put, I probably put YouTube. You know these days but back okay. then i think it was just buying a youtube yeah you know? I, I mean i find youtube like my go to for long form entertainment right like yeah. discussion topics anything a, anything that's going on even funny stuff but yeah. those platforms in my eyes are like catch your attention be funny in the 30 seconds or one minute for instagram yeah. whatever you got now it's for that quick but long form wise to me i think yeah. youtube is the go -to. oh for sure so but but again like so what made you like okay what made you say yo i'm gonna start creating content like you just felt like i like making people laugh like like what made you like because you know you gotta have maybe your friends was doing it like what like when i started doing it like when i started making music it was because all my homeboys that i was hanging out with mm -hmm. they were making music my sister my older sister started making music when i was a little kid so obviously somebody influenced me to want to make music right so yeah. what made you like say yo i'm gonna start making this content was it because one of your videos you playing around blew up or was it well, like I, I started on vine so uh i remember going to ihop with a couple of my buddies um uh, chaz and mike and we went to ihop and they was telling me about this app called vine mm -hmm. so as soon as they told me about the app as soon as they told me about vine i was i just like made a vine the next day with okay. Chaz, and it blew up and well it didn't really blow up but it got hella numbers it got good numbers it got good numbers so okay i played it back i made a video with my mom i was like i remember the video like yesterday i was like i scared my mom in the car and she was like um boy you gonna you gonna uh make me have to move you back with your daddy mm -hmm. like and that blew up on vine so okay i would say them they influenced me but i've been had it in me i've been okay. i was a class clown okay okay 11, 12th grade you know when did you realize like this is a business like you know like it's cool to have fun you're make, you're having fun blah, blah, and then something happens where you're like hey i can make this I a can business monetize this. i can make I money was, with this so i got fired from h mart and then i started working overnight uh, overnight job with my dad at ken's food and i was just checking my my account on paypal and i'm like whoa i just got paid this amount for youtube so i'm like i can do this forever you know so that, that's when it really, really kicked in. And then I started getting offers of like going out of town and stuff like that. So I asked for a two weeks notice my job. They was like, nah, so. And you just said, you like, like, fuck deuces. it, I'm out of, I'm out of, you know, I'm following my dream, you know what I mean? So. Damn, the rest, that's a beautiful that's thing. Really, that's the, that's really history, man. Yeah. Uh, that's the last time I like worked a nine to five, if that's what you want to call right. it. Right, and I could relate, I could relate because like, and I'm only on really, you know, popping on one platform, which is Instagram, and I've gotten flown out of the country, so. You know, I, I can completely understand why when you start saying like, "Wait a minute, this is a this is a business." I'm 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 the business now. When you give up you know that nine saying? to five, it's hard to go back. I it mean, is. I haven't no, had a nine to five mentally. <laughs> yeah, 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 forever. All right, another, another question I got for you is, um, what's the key to success between somebody with like ten thousand subscribers or followers versus two million subscribers? Uh, and what's the key to what's the key ingredient on YouTube and just social media as a whole to be successful? Um, you got ten thousand followers. You, I always tell people. You can double that. You know what I mean? What do you so gotta do? You gotta stay cause the keyword stay consistent, man. Like I know that's like touche or whatever, but you definitely gotta stay consistent. You gotta be different. Mm -hmm. Cause everybody out here doing the same thing. Like and, post uh, like post every day, you think? Or if you want if it bro, if you really hungry, if you really mm -hmm. want it, you will post every day. That's that's what I did on Vine. You know what I mean? So Okay. 
po- I post. Shit, I had six seconds, so I'm posting. Yeah, I'm yeah posting that's like five, quick. Five times you can spend a day. two I hours and have thirty videos. Yeah, exactly. So I would say you gotta post every day, man. You know, work now, play later. Type, and, type and, of deal. and on Instagram, because obviously Instagram, they in the beginning it wasn't that long either the videos, and then they started extending and extending and extending. Yep. So when it was like a full minute, were you still were you doing videos every day or not or not on Instagram at all? No, I was still on Vine for sure. Cause okay. it was fifteen seconds. It was fifteen, 15 seconds, seconds on IG. Because mm-hmm. I remember I was at Whitewater. Okay. When I got the uh, big news, but um, <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit, Instagram got video. It's another right. platform we can go to." Right. So, um, yeah. So I just say, man, just stay consistent. If you got ten thousand followers, just stay consistent. If you got two, I feel like when you get when you get that fan base, like that collective fan base, you can mm-hmm. start like taking it easy. You know what I mean? Making like two videos, like even me, I lack right now at making content, but I can, I feel like I can do that, but in the sense I can't do that because I'm kind of, you know, losing a little bit, but right. I, I say you can, you can, you can like not post as much when you get. Well, let, let, let me, it. since you, I mean, I know this is another question, but like, as far as like business wise, right? So you have an established business, you got millions of followers. At that, is there a certain point where you get staff involved or are you self-managing this process still? Or is it like a family kind of oriented or um, it's kind of? No, I have, I have, uh, I went through a lot of, a lot of agencies. Uh, I went through a couple of managers. How, how does that process um, good, bad? They're really, what? they're really good for like brand deals. Um, you know, to get, they, they got good connection with brands. Some I really don't have connection, connections with like that. Would you recommend? that doing for that sure. making those moves for sure man that's that's extra income you know what i mean so uh, mm. i really recommend that um but on the back side i got my wife editing my videos oh okay. she be editing uh, i ain't know that okay. i thought yeah, she, she i thought you edited them okay. no nah. yo <laughs> yo this Bro, whole she, time i thought you was the, the editor queen. she's the queen of um what editing my videos so um appreciate, i appreciate my wife for that man she's like my backbone for all of my stuff on the back end so hell yeah shout she, out to the wife shout out to the wife man. <laughs> hey. nobody's gonna watch the money better Exactly. Yeah. Then wifey, yeah. like, she's hold me yeah. accountable. Yes. Hold me accountable. So, so did you slow down too though? Like, did you slow down on like posting a lot because of now you got a family or, or it has nothing to do with that? Man, I had my son and mm. um, I slowed down. Man, it's like I really slowed down after I had my son. Like okay. everybody know, everybody know it's yeah. not a no secret. Yeah. Then I had my daughter. Shit, really slowed down. <laughs> then when it was st- stuff starts slowing down, I start seeing my numbers go down as well and that shit put me in a crazy like mindset how do you handle that bro i was like i was literally like kind of mia for like a year and a half or Mm -hmm. two so that kind of put me you know backtrack Mm -hmm. but i'm blessed to you know have that fan base like i was saying earlier yeah that i'm like i'm I'm never going nowhere like in my in my mind i'm gonna just keep pushing you know what i mean but that definitely that definitely uh put me back you know just before I had them, I was leaving the house like happy. But mm-hmm. it came to a, it came to a point where I leave and go do some work. But in my my mind, I just feel bad for leaving. You want to be back you know with the family, mean? yeah, absolutely. Because I'm a new dad, I'm new to all of this. So now I'm like, shit, what? I'm ready to shit out. You know what I mean? <laughs> but back then, man, when I was a new dad, man, it kind of it it, it, it kind of messed me up mentally. But I'm back. So does it is it something where you proje- project out like? I mean, damn, you said 2009 is when you started, right? We're in 2023. 23. That's 14 years or whatever. Well, I, te- I technically started in 2000. I say 2015. Okay, but you know, still, that's eight okay. years in, right? So mm-hmm. do you plan out like, okay, uh, I don't know how exactly how old, how, how old are you, but do you say, oh, you're 29. So, okay, I'm going to do this 10 more years or I'm going to set myself up that after five more years i'm done and somebody else is gonna run things or you just say i'm gonna run it till the wheels fall that's off and i'm I 45. Did. that's all I, that's that's my mindset like, okay um i'm in the social media world but i also i want to branch off and do like acting and you know I, I rap on the side i got a song with this incredible brother right here yes sir mm-hmm. and um you know i always i don't want to just stay in the social media world i would tell folks that if you're in a social media world, make sure this is a side job and not your main job. You mm. know what I mean? Um, save yourself for your future. I'm telling you, like, Facts. take my advice. Live a better life. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, um, 
that's that's what that's really, that's what really it is. It on that. Do you so. do you do you think it's a good idea to um because I, I have trouble with this, right? Maybe you could give me what your advice or what you do. Do you think it's a good idea to like respond to comments that you might not like that come in your thing or like how do you handle maybe comments that really is like inappropriate or like what do you do? You just ignore it or do you so when I first started, when I first started, comments got comments got on my nerves. Like mm -hmm. I'm like I was like a, <laughs> I was right. attacking folks in right. my comments. But at the end of the day, it's your job. And at the end of the day, no matter what you do, somebody gonna, gonna, gonna have, have some to say. bad shit to say. So yeah. yeah, Joe Rogan I think said it's a bunch of times. Like he he doesn't even, doesn't even read. read them. Yeah, he doesn't. Even Some read people don't read them. And, and one upside to that, if you you can't you can't focus on the negative. You can just focus on the positive. Positive, positive, positive yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. So. It's hard though, man, because human nature in this, you start reading them and you're like, yo, they just missed the whole that's entire that, point but, of this. Right. But at the same time, they're still engaging on your, con on yeah. your post. So that's, yeah, that's true. They help you at the end of the day. That's a fact. <laughs> so I got another question, man. What's what's your uh, top five hip hop artists of all time? My top five. <laughs> Top five, top five. Bro, but before you go <laughs> top five, right? Mm -hmm. I bet she's gonna name at least three. I have no idea who's that. I don't I mean, know, man. I, should, I don't we'll think see, so. We'll see. We'll see. I don't I, think I, so because Mighty Doug is this, Mighty. I got sense, right? Yeah, he got sense, man. Okay, he ain't gonna say right, no. I probably name two that you probably don't. <laughs> okay. All right. So no order. You know, nah, what? I need it's order. order. It's order. It's I need order. order. I gotta put my boy, my, the goat, the goat, Lil Wayne. Okay. Lil Wayne is like number one. Number one. Number two, I probably gotta put. I gotta put my boy Drake. Okay, we what is this? Is this cash money? Is this cash money? Is young money records? <laughs> it stop right there. Stop <laughs> okay. Right there. Then I gotta go to Dreamville, go to to the third go. I gotta go to J Cole. Mm -hmm. Then I gotta go to Future. Okay. Know, Atlanta, Atlanta Zone. Then I gotta go to Young Thug. That's my top five. Okay. Yeah, you know he, all he of did. them. I I heard of the the the. <laughs> The one through four. I know the first two. Yeah. I've heard of the second two. I have no idea who's number five. Young you don't Thug. know who Young Thug is? I, I couldn't tell you one song. Oh, and I, this I, guy. The, yeah, man. I'm it's sorry. All it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. We know bro, who he when is. I'm in, the, I'm in the car. I spend my money on my sound. <laughs> it's all 90s hip hop. I'm sorry. I'm big. I got you. I got you. I got you. And, and I'll listen to Drake. I mean, yo, I, I mean, my top right. five is you would. I'm sure you know all of them. So top five. Num number one, Biggie Smalls. Okay. Number two, Tupac, because both of those guys impacted the culture for sure, for sure. tremendous, like no, like for no sure. other, no, like no other hip hop artists in my opinion. Like when you can have an East Coast go against an East Coast, East, yeah. a West Coast because of two people representing two different coasts. They yeah, that's that's power, game. bro. So that's top two to me. Then number three, I gotta go Jay Z. Mm -hmm. I mean, his first album was ninety in nineteen ninety six. And his last album was in 2017. So this man, 21 years, and yep. if he dropped something now, it was still. Yeah, still <laughs> and his net worth is 2.5 billion. Yeah, he's another. Like 2.5 billion net worth, that's ridiculous. That's so that's my number three, and then number four, I got Eminem. So I know you know everybody yes, I said so far. Yes. Eminem is the syllable yes. master, and his lyrical, his delivery, everything about it, he's a beast to me. And then number five, Drizzy. Okay. I gotta have Drake up there. Yeah. I love Drake. like Drake yeah. is one of my favorites right now, but you know, of yeah, all yeah, time. Yeah, sure. And you know, yeah. to Eminem has never used the N word in any song. He, of course not. He, but I'm just saying, <laughs> it, it, goes, it goes to show you. Yeah, he know he, skill I mean, he and yeah. he, show, he proved you don't have to if you don't want nah, to. Nah, he ain't got right. to at all. He but better not. He better. That's why I say he better not. He would have been got checked. I mean, he so, probably would have defended all, himself. What about but, the other white rappers? They don't. Use, they don't use the N word. No. Not, nah, I've never heard it. Mm -mm. No, oh. not, not, who's the Harlow? No, uh, nah, uh, hell no. Nah. The one with the tattoos nah. all in his face. They, they oh, it. Post Malone. Hell no. Nah. No, nah, they nah, bro. Okay. The only okay. person that has this white skin that uses the N word, and he's not, but he's not white. He's Fat Joe <laughs> and oh, yeah, because yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but he's different. You know, he's Puerto Latino, Rican. right? Yeah, it's that's like, different. Shout out to Fat Joe. That's, yeah. my, that's, that's the only Fat man. Joe. I, I, I was in his video all the way up. Oh, you were? Right? Yeah. Bro, hey. I, I think he make more money now that he don't make music than he did when he was making music. Yeah, man. He he definitely learned right. from his, his mistakes. He he, he, he fell yeah, you really typically hard, be, Yeah, you typically really become hard. a better businessman for sure. I, I just was reading up on a, a case he, with Big Pun's money. With the with the wife mm -hmm. and basically yeah he had to pay off the wife on royalties or something like that and now she has the rights to all the royalties this that mm -hmm. the other I was just reading out we just mentioned Fat Joe but either yeah, way yeah. he was, I'm sure he was able to cut the check and sure. it, it doesn't change his life at all he yeah. just cut the check and keep going yeah. I got another question who's the who's your top five NBA players of all time 
In order. Don't give me no no order. Give me the order. Oh, man. Okay, you're in order? Yes, sir. Okay. The Wait. Mighty Ducks. Uh, this is Mighty Ducks top five. Not nobody else's. This is his. Okay, number one. I got to go with AI. Allen Iverson? He, he changed the game. Oh, my goodness. Okay, All, right, 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 All right, right, right. Go ahead, go ahead. He the reason why you can wear anything to the NBA game. <laughs> okay, go ahead, bro. Uh, oh, right. my God. You got this man number one. Uh, I already have a problem number with this list. Number two, Steph Curry. <laughs> Best shooter. The best shooter. He is the, the best world. shooter. He's he a robot. Is. He's okay. a robot. Okay. Number three, Kyrie. I might be a little biased. Because that's, that's your boy. Is it the type five bars in the NBA? I, I guess know. so. I love, I love watching him. He, he got the, he's the this is the top nah, five. He's amazing I think to watch. this is top five he got point the best guards. Handles that you can ever, think of. Ever. Man, so. Ever. Number four, I gotta throw MJ in there. He's the goat. You know he's the mean? goat, but he's number four. He's the goat. All everybody I'm naming is the goat. Okay, gotcha. Um, <laughs> and number five, I'm on five, right? Yes. I gotta, I gotta say LeBron James. LeBron number five. Ooh. Gotta say LeBron. James. This is wow. an extremely controversial top five. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, I'm different. I don't yeah. think I'm not, I'm not like everybody. Else. I think you there's I mean? a small percentage of people in the world that got AI number one. That's Maybe fine. in Philly. <laughs> that, that in Philly, more happy, in Philly, in Philly, he's number one to a lot of people. That makes me hey, way more. Happier. I gotta give you credit though. That's fucking bold as yeah. a bitch. Yeah. That makes me so much happier, bro. Okay. Yeah. What, what's your top five? Nah, I got Michael Jordan number one. Okay. I got, oh man, it's tough, bro, because I'm a Kobe fan, but I I think Kobe's more skilled than LeBron, mm -hmm. but I think LeBron, obviously, he's, a, he's achieved more. He's accomplished more. Yeah. So because of that, you know, I got to give LeBron number two. Gotcha. And then number three, I got Kobe. <clears throat> Because I think, I mean, he, his game to me, I mean, the, the the amount of tough shots he used to make was incredible. Like, he's the type of guy that he would make shots in double coverage. Kobe, off, right? Yeah, Kobe. Oh, yeah, like, Kobe I mean, King. one time he, he had hurt his shoulder, he dislocated his shoulder. He scored 12 points with his left hand. Yeah. And he's right and he's right handed. Yeah, he's. He scored 12. He, 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 on 12 shots, I mean, so that means he was like 50%, six for 12. And he scored 12 points with his left. Like, that's impressive, bro. No, he's bro. an animal. He's a beast. That's impressive, there's, there's bro. No he's not lefty. It. Jump no shots. It. <laughs> Come on, man. Turn around jumpers with his left. So that's so that's not, that's my number three. Um, number four, Kareem. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I mean, he was the leading scorer for 40 years. Unstoppable hook shot. It's true. His hook shot is unstoppable. Like no competition. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then number five. Damn, I gotta put I gotta put Magic up there. Okay. Yeah, magic. I awesome. respect that though. Yeah. You can't go wrong with that one. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, it's it's just hard because I love Steph Curry. I love KD. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of players that that I love. I love Island Island Ivers. I just don't even think he's top ten, but I, I love him. Yeah. As a player. Um. But yeah, man, that's my list. Larry Bird is up there. You know what I'm saying? They accomplished a there. lot. All them guys. If you had to pick a ten, all them guys would be. Shaq. I mean, Shaq was. You can't stop that man. He's too big. Yeah. He just dunk on you every time. Top yeah. five. I mean, I agree. I think we're on the same page on on the first three, and then last two. You can mix up. Yeah. Anybody for the last the last two spots that five, four and five spot, but you don't think you don't me, think it's Kareem. No, no, no. I think it's oh. is MJ, LeBron, Kareem. I mean, I Bill Russell too. I mean, I, Bill Russell got. Uh, nah. All the championships. No, yeah, Le he's okay, number two. Le yeah, Le Le MJ, LeBron, okay. and Kareem. To me, like it's top three, no matter what. And then you can mix up, you can switch up people for four and five. But yeah. top three is MJ, LeBron, and Kareem. Kobe. Oh, Kareem and Kareem. That's oh, you got top. Kareem up there. Yeah, those are my I mean, top listen, three. That's fair. Outside of that, you can mix up. You can put, you know, whoever you want, Magic or Bird or. I mean, I I think Bill Russell. You know, it's a 50s, 60s. I mean, if you're six eight in the 1960s and athletic, and you can run and jump, like he was gonna be a great player no matter what. Yeah. And I think they only they only had like 12 teams at the time. Yeah, they were winning all those championships versus mm. 32 now. Yep. That's why I'm like, eh. I mean, he made his, you know, he was influential. I think, you know, in the 60s civil rights era, like Bill Russell was extremely influential. Facts. But as far as like. I think Carl Malone would beat the brakes off Bill Russell. You think so? You know what I mean? Like if you took, I don't know, man. if you took Bill, I, Bill, I mean, this if was, he, if you took, that was before my time, so I just, just watched saying, highlights if you and took shit. Bill Ru like Carl <laughs> Malone would drop thirty five a night. See, at least I saw jump shot, back him down. Like he could yeah. run. I saw MJ at least, at yes. least like half. 
of MJ. Well, Karl Malone was the second leading scorer almost every year behind MJ. To give you an idea, yeah. like I, mean, well, I know, I know Karl Malone. I'm talking right. about Bill Russell, like that. Yeah, Bill Russell. Yeah, I mean, so I, I don't know. That was before them, right? Yeah, Way he's before in the, them. He's in yeah. the '60s. Yeah, That's so what I'm saying. I, don't, like, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even thought of yet. I think skill wise, Karl Malone <laughs> just destroyed. I remember Karl Malone. That's who MJ beat every time. <laughs> yeah, but him or Barkley. You see Barkley yeah. at you know six four grabbing sixteen rebounds a game, yeah. dropping twenty five. I mean, yeah. I mean, you to me you can switch up four and five, but your top three got to me is MJ, yeah. LeBron, and Kareem. Yo, so another thing I was gonna ask you, man. Um, so what do you think about what happened with Undisputed with Shannon Sharp and Skip? Like, you, did you see the the goodbye that he did, the, yeah. the farewell? Mm -hmm. Do you think that? Do you think that? Before I ask what's your whole reaction, do you think that him, that he left because he had an issue with Skip? Or do you think that it was just a money issue with Fox? Like, what do you think is the reason that he left? Um, I feel like somebody told Shannon Sharp, you can make so much money. Okay. Off of Undisputed. Okay. And then I, I I feel like it had something to do with him getting into it with Skip. Okay. You know what I mean? That's why they did, they had the big little, yeah. you know, um sad goodbye yeah you know what i mean um i love the show though i was a fan of the show me I, too i wanted to watch what I, i'm gonna miss the show for sure but oh yeah i know i know shannon sharp got a way bigger opportunity coming up do that's you what it's really for do you think him crying was like real like he's really crying like he gonna miss skip and you know and and, and everybody or do you think it was just to show professionalism or do you think he genuinely like in other words, there's the professional version of Shannon Sharp, and then you have the person that away from the show that yeah. obviously has his own opinion about everything, right? So you can maintain a level of professionalism, but that doesn't mean that what you're showing is just because you want to be professional. Oh, sure. You ain't trying to. But if they ask you, be honest, what happened? Like, so do you think those tears were legit, or do you think that that was just to to kind of like take off the? They don't, he didn't want to put Skip in a position of. Make it skip look like, like like the bad guy. If he would have just said bye cold heartedly, you know what I'm saying? Because Man. him doing that, it kind of doesn't make Skip look so bad. It doesn't make him look bad. It makes it look like, oh, so you guys actually were cool in real life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it do look like it, <clears throat> you're you're right because they got into it a lot on that. Bro, show. I remember. Bad. Mm -hmm. Like bad. He was so. straight up disrespectful to Shannon a few he times was, though, man. But he did he did Stephen A like that too, and look where he look yeah. where it led him. So. Um, it probably got something to do with that. You think it was legit crying though? Like he missed it or not? I would say 50-50. Okay. Cause I'm, I feel like he happy as hell to leave that show. Where you think he going? Bro, I have no idea, but I, I'm pretty sure his next move gonna be his best move in his, of his career. I'm gonna tell you where I think he's going. What's up? I think he's going to ESPN, but I don't think he's going on first take. Like to be a with a, with, with uh, no. Stephen A. No, I don't think. I think if he goes on, if he goes on first take, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be for uh, permanently. Like in other words, as a part of mm -hmm. the entourage that he has. If he goes on ESPN, I think it's gonna be for his own show. I mean, that and has they're gonna to pick be the somebody move. else. The same way they created their own show in. Yeah. The same way they created their own show in Fox. That has I think to be Shannon the Sharp is gonna do something in ESPN. Another and he's the marquee, yes. Another debate show. You're right. I another like debate right. show, but on ESPN. He's definitely going to another network. That's what them Yeah, tears, oh, for sure, for that's sure. That's what them tears was really for, I feel yep. like. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Them tears is for, to tell Fox, I feel bad for y'all, but I'm I'm out of here. I yep. feel like you you might be on to something. I, I yep. feel like he about to have his own because show. Because... He Honestly, gotta have his own show. Yeah, there's start. no other option. Yeah, there's maybe. no other. Yeah, he there's made no his name on undisputed. Right, show. there's no other big platform or there's no other network that that does this. Yeah, you can't, I, CBS doesn't do this. No, I mean, but at the end of the day, Shannon outgrew his position there. No question. Like J just, that, I mean, just like Stephen A. Smith did. Yeah, it's, when they were together, which was good. Thank you. You mm -hmm. know, he gave him an opportunity. I think. I think the thank the thank you was legit. Yep. You can have issues with someone, but at the end of the day. If yeah. that cabron is the one that gave you the opportunity that yeah. you're now about to cut the biggest check post your football career, which he's gonna make way more money than he did in the NFL. Yeah, you can have a sincere man. Well, he's thank you for the bro, opportunity. Sorry about that. He gonna have his own show on ESPN. What? ESPN, That's what I'm saying. Or he gonna be LeBron James Butler. <laughs> God damn. <laughs>
He do love hey, him some. Hey, you, you he, he right. He do love him some LeBron. No, he I'm does. Kidding, though, but he definitely by he, he by that. I don't know if you show. saw what Kwame Brown did. He, he Kwame Brown. I don't like that guy. Hey, yo, but I'm gonna tell you what he did though. He he posted a he posted a whole picture of Shannon Sharp's bed, like his bed spread. It had. LeBron, LeBron James. James everywhere on the bed, bro. Yeah. Even on the pillowcases. Like that's yeah. to me, that's a little OD. I, I love Shannon Sharp, but I don't think I could ever have another uh, an athlete yeah, yeah, yeah. on my pillowcases. Yeah, I think that's for clicks. <laughs> Was that it likes? It look, I mean, Shannon Sharp posted it. He said, "Hey, is, he posted he a video. Post it a he posted back, a picture no. saying, hey, is this too much?'" <laughs> yes, bruh. Okay, That's I, feel a little like, too I feel like he. I feel like maybe it was just to be man. funny. Yeah, maybe like it was just to be funny, but yes. Kwame Brown is a clown. Yeah, he he. Kwame Kwame was definitely. Uh, and he's another OD'ing. one probably doing better now. Yeah, oh, than sure. he did I before. I didn't know who he was. Oh no, like, he's hilarious. The, well, he's yeah. embraced the bus life. That's yeah, what he calls himself, the a, bus life. He's a, fucking hilarious, bro. No, look, those guys. You know, it, and it's it's like you like social media. Mm -hmm. Shannon Sharp has a million within like a year. He got yeah. a million followers on his club Shay Shay. Yep. It's just a reflection of his popularity. And he goes, hey, I don't need this no more. You know exactly. what? Cut me my check. I want to quit. Take pay me 60 cents on the dollar. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they cut him a check, 60 cents on the dollar. And guess what? He's going to make two or three times more. He, yeah, no, Shannon Sharp is no good. Doubt. And he's a great entertainer. Yep. He's, he's funny. And I think him being respectful. He made more money being professional and respectful than if he would have got ghetto, pissed, stood up at the table, yeah. scared, skip. You know, like yeah. man, Shannon and Sharp's that's, a big bro, dude. That's bro. how Shannon. That's how Shannon was. If see, if this was football. Oh, it'd been Shannon would have never swallowed <laughs> his tongue like he did. Like right. Like Shannon, and when he played football, listen, my my one of my good friends, Ray Buchanan, and they they used to get go into at it. it. Yeah, they used to go at it, and mm -hmm. when they played. And Shannon would like really like curse this dude out, like get into to my boy, because that's how Shannon is. Like, yeah. so for him to swallow his tongue with Skip, he showed a lot of restraint, bro. Because <laughs> oh, Shannon sure. was, I mean, um, Skip was going at him, bro. Skip definitely make that blood. <laughs> I mean, oh, he was going he, at I him. I think he does it on purpose, bro. He said, "Yo, he does, Tom Brady's way better than you've ever." Been. Like he was going at him, like he does like, it on damn, purpose. Bro. Personal, bro. Like, were you jealous of him? Like, what? What you mean? Yeah. I'm jealous yeah, of another man. Look, I, I think Skip <laughs> knows he's a character. He's made this character, and he plays. Up How you gonna to tell it? another man you jealous of another man? He play. He plays oh, into life. that character. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he's not and like it, that in real life. I think that's a character I hope he plays. Not. I hope not. Both of them be saying some off the wall stuff, but yeah. No Skip doubt. The show. Yo, so you got anything coming? You got any anything, any projects coming? Anything exciting? Anything Man, that you want anybody to know? I'm making music. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Hey. But we gotta get on the track together again. Man. Oh, we come on, man. Oh uh, that's easy. I got a podcast coming. I love y'all podcast. Oh, appreciate oh, thank it, man. You. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, that's the best podcast I ever been. My that guy. Is, that is, hey, that is, hey, we gotta clap for that joint right thank there. Yes, sir. Please, man, subscribe to him, man. Yes, please, like please, and subscribe. That. Comment. And, and man, um, yeah, go ahead. Just being a family man. Um, being a family man, and you know. Just living life, uh, all glory to God. That's really it, man. Thank y'all so much for having me on this show. Hell hey, yeah, man. We, you're not leaving yet, though. Oh, don't, hey, don't, don't stay wait, all we night. What's <laughs> up? All right, so before we, I, I wanted to talk about a topic. Is some uh, I'm I'm the I tend to look at the news and read stuff or whatever, and I like getting opinions. And we me and me and Plot talked about this the other the other day, right? You grew up what part of Atlanta? I grew. I was. Raised in Fort Worth, Atlanta, but I was raised in Clinton. Okay. Um, Fort Worth, born. were you, it, was it an affluent area or kind of, you know, you got to be careful type of area? Uh, Riverdale, well, when I was young, it was, it was a kind of low key, like, I would say like, not the suburbs, but the suburbs, but it, it's like, got bad over the years. Okay. That's why I moved up north. Okay, fair you know enough. I mean? so, fair enough. So there was a, there's a situation out of New York City. Okay. It's a self-defense situation, mm -hmm. and I, I got his opinion on it. We wanted, I wanted to get your opinion on it, right? All right. Um, so, subway station. Have you been to New York City? Yeah, for sure. You've been on the subways. Yep. Okay. So, New York City subways is famous for having. You can have entertainers walk on oh, yeah. there, right? So like most talent, a lot of talent. Most people, most so. talented people you can see is on the subway. Sometimes though, you do get some scary individuals on yep. the train. So there's this one gentleman. 
that comes on. He's for years has been an entertainer, but he's also been arrested over 40 times. Mental health issues. 40? Yes, mental health issues. He gets on the train and he's very threatening, scaring people, all kind of stuff. And a gentleman goes up and restrains him, gets him to choke, hold, gets him on the floor. He's holding him. Mm -hmm. And people are like, call the cops, call the cops, right? And then other people go and they're holding the guy's hands. And so the cops come, they, they end up restraining him, take him to the hospital. Guy dies in the hospital. So which guy died in the hospital? The guy that was getting choked. Hold the guy. So the guy comes up behind him, puts him in a chokehold, holds him on the ground for like three minutes. And the guy's fighting. He's mm -hmm. holding him. Mm -hmm. The cops come, they take the guy away. He ends up dying in the hospital. The cops interview the individual that was holding him. Mm -hmm. Didn't arrest him, let him go. You know, you know, protests happen, this, that, the other. Next thing you know, the guy's charged with murder. With, with, it's, a, it's a form of manslaughter. Oh, man. Right? So, of course, he's saying, hey, I was just defending myself and others. Mm -hmm. They're saying his conduct was so reckless because of his conduct, this guy died. So the question to you is that kind of scenario. You see someone, you're with your family. You see an old lady might be in danger And there's someone and he's like man This guy's about to do something mm -hmm. Would you consider Stepping in and Getting this person on the ground and say hey call the cops Or you just hey I'll wait to see If he hits the old lady or does Something to the little kid um, Because now that that's kind Of the thought process everybody's saying oh You know what New York City just did They made the train stations a lot more dangerous Because if someone sees it, like, man, I don't want to catch a charge. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens if he hurts somebody. For sure. Um, I, if I have my family on a train, if he don't come near me or if I don't see no weapon or if I don't actually see him, like, attacking folks, I'm not going to do nothing. As soon as he attack me, that's when I will probably so take what action. If, what if he, like, doing, like, these crazy aggressive gestures in front of, like, your wife? Like, he ain't touch her. Uh -huh. But he's doing these crazy it's like threatening. Yo, man, you feel threatened. F y'all, man, this is acting crazy. Like at this distance, personal spaces, and then you get up and you like you you probably gonna try to like push him back, right? Now you put your hands on him first because he's doing this. So exactly. So what would you do if he's doing that in front of an old person that you're looking at? It's like hard yo, to watch for sure. You like yo, this dude wilding out, and this is old lady right here is scared. Yeah, that's hard to watch. I don't know if I'll put him in a chokehold for like three minutes. I'll probably yeah. knock his ass out for sure. Bro. Oh, okay. okay. So, all right, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like me, me knowing, I'll be like, man, I, I watch videos all the time like that. It's like, bro, if, if, if I was there, that would not go down. I would say that. But when you in that situation, it's different. But I yeah. feel like me, I couldn't watch no man doing that to no old lady yeah. or no kids. Just because I got a family and I got a grandma, whatever you call it. Sure. Right. I'm definitely... I'm definitely probably gonna knock his ass out and we out, but I ain't gonna put him in no choke. Hold. Okay, I ain't gonna kill him. <laughs> well, you know, and, and what I, what I explained, so you know, a choke like the police can't put you in a choke, right? Because they can kill you. Exactly. Right. A, a choke when it's applied, you'll be out and like within six seconds you'll mm -hmm. be sleeping. Mm -hmm. Right. The guy was holding him, restraining him for three minutes. Yeah, that's too long. To, but to me, that tells me he's not really choking the guy. Because if you're really choking someone, mm -hmm. you're not going to choke him. Like, within seconds, yeah, for sure. the choke is the choke, right? Yeah. So to me, it just it sounded like the guy's really just trying to restrain him. Like, mm -hmm. if the guy wasn't fighting, he wouldn't be trying to restrain him. So obviously, he was trying to move or whatever. He's like, hey, call the cops like get the cops and people you can hear people on the train like call the cops call 911 and people mm -hmm. called 911 and the mere fact that the police came interviewed the guy and let him go mm -hmm. to me reflects the fact like okay you was trying to hold him okay because you was holding him he, I don't know he had a condition he dies to me that's it's self defense like so but now he got a murder charge now he's fighting a murder charge <laughs> for being the hero yep Interesting. Something to think about. This yep. world is backwards. It's All very right, backwards. Bro. There you go. Thank you for for indulging me <laughs> on that topic. I was just curious. I, I just read it yesterday. Yeah, this world is so very backwards. it's it's crazy. But man, Isaac, take us out, man. Sign hey, us out. Mi gente. Hey, thank you to the mighty duck for yes, being sir. on the podcast. Stop the madness. Remember, remember, like, subscribe, and we see y'all soon. Peace. Peace. Peace.